on some campus somewhere. But young people in the triad and across the state have been learning about gun, rifle, and bow and arrow safety for years. Some of them are even preparing to test their outdoor skills against their peers. Our Kenny Beck explains. That's the sound of success for these young trap shooters and these rifle experts and these archers. They're all marksmen and markswomen in training. I just try to block out all the noise and think about hitting that centerpiece, just hitting the X. That's all I think about. It's focusing on the X. Victoria Rose Cranfill was one of more than 100 students who took part in Saturday's shooting competition at the Eaton Farm in Blues Creek. The East Forsyth Hunter Safety Shooting Team hosted the event, which was a tune-up for next month's district competition. Van Cockerham is their coach. Probably most of them are probably spending total five to six hours a week either in organized practice or in individual practice on their own, but they're doing it throughout the week. Like most high school sports and extracurricular activities, it's time consuming and expensive. Just ask senior Zach Walker. Well, my shotgun was $800. My rifle was about $500. My bow came out to $700 with everything on it. So, and That's before ammo. Yeah, ammo costs a lot too. But those prices don't have too many people feeling gun shy. There are nearly 200 school teams in the state, and North Carolina was one of the first in the nation to develop their program. It's here, it's always been here, I don't see it going away, uh, and I think if we can save some lives and, and impart some education and, and good responsibility to, at, the, at a young age, I think we'll all benefit from that in the long run. And that was Kenny Beck reporting. The teams will have their district competition March 29th. States are in late April, and the national championships are in Pennsylvania the very last week in July.